just recorded the whole video got all the clips and everything went to go uh import it into adobe premiere pro to upload or to like edit it oh oh your your files are damaged so i have to redo the whole effing thing <sighs> it's a learning process hey anyways today i want to talk about your why for losing weight your why is just as important as how you lose the weight the reason why the why is so important when it comes to losing weight is because if it's not strong enough it's not a strong enough reason then you're not going to stick to it i'm going to sit down have a one-on-one -on -one chat with you guys talk about how to find your why what my why was and how it helped me lose the 110 pounds and keep it off Oh, all right. One second. That's better. A little chilly in here. Some unfortunate things are happening right now. It's freezing raining. Gotta love New York. Anyways, I wanted to talk about why you're losing weight is just as important as how you lose the weight. Let me explain. The most powerful thing that will keep you accountable when the going gets tough is the reason or the why you decide to lose the weight. This is very important, not only for beginning progress, but for sustaining this progress for a long duration of time. I'll give you an example of a why. Take me for instance. I would try and try to lose weight, but I would try to do too much all at once instead of taking small actionable steps like I've mentioned in my previous video titled, Why It's So Difficult to Lose Weight. When I thought about it, I really wanted to get in shape so I could get girls and be more confident in my own body. I think we can all relate to the getting girls part. It wasn't until I saw my friend come back from summer break in my senior year of school that I saw it was possible. He was overweight the year prior. When he returned, he was very skinny. This gave me hope. Seeing that sparked my motivation at first. But when I realized that my reasoning for losing weight, although it would help with getting girls, it was more about my self-worth and confidence that I really wanted to improve. Having this realization helped me stick to my goals because I wanted to finally be proud of myself for accomplishing something that I set my mind to. The best way for you to lose weight is to establish your why that's specific to you. And I can help you do that. Think about where you are in your life. Do you have kids? Do you have a family that depends on you? Are you unhappy with your current physical situation? Do you finally want to be healthy? If you've answered yes to any of these questions, then you have all the reason, and in that, a strong enough why to get it done. All you need to do is start taking action. The why we do anything is probably the most important part because it's the intention behind the act. Not to relate weight loss with murdering, but a murderer had a nefarious intention, right? If I have an intention to do something, weight loss, whatever it is, if the reasoning is not strong enough, if my convictions to do that thing are not strong enough, then I will not stick to it. If you're trying to lose weight so you can get in shape just because you want to prove someone wrong, who's, who's done you wrong, maybe you went through a breakup, maybe someone said something mean to you, it might give you the motivation to get there. But if you no longer have that motivation, you're just going to spiral back into old hacks that led you into being overweight in the, in the first place. Once you find a why that serves you, use it. And if it no longer serves you, then you can change it. It is not set in stone. My why started out wanting to get girls. It later transformed into wanting more self-confidence, which finally led to where I am now. I just genuinely love working out, exercising, running, rock climbing, all the stuff that would be more difficult if I was overweight. If you really think about it, look deep down. You're only one conversation with yourself away from taking action. Stop distracting yourself from taking that first step. I believe in you. You've got this. I hope you have a great rest of your day, and I'll talk to you all tomorrow. Until then, thanks for watching. Have a good one.